All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go in on this topic. Um, hopefully, this is an um, edifying topic, you know, Lord willing. Um, the title will be How Do You Know That the Lord Is Dealing With You and Not Satan? Okay, so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the lesson. This is Job 9 and 24. It says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay, now... The question or the title of the video is how do you know that the Lord is dealing with you and not Satan? Okay? Now, Satan is controlling the world somehow, some way. Okay? The scripture says that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Well, you have to find out who is the wicked. If you consider yourself a man of the Lord who is the wicked, okay? And how are they uh, controlling the earth? In what way, what shape, form, or fashion is the wicked controlling the, 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 um, the earth, okay? Who are the judges, okay? Um, let me get this scripture. Uh, Luke 4 and 1. Uh, it says, and I'm going to read, I'm going to say it uh, verbatim, okay, which the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shah, okay, when you go into the um, letter, a blue letter Bible, okay, when you go into the, when you click on uh, the Strong's Concordance, and you go under Jesus, in the Hebrew, um, right here, it's to say uh, Yahweh Shah, okay? This is the Hebrew, okay? Um, and it's also right here. Uh, no, that's uh, Yash, Yasha Wa, okay? This is Yahweh Shah, okay? Okay? Um, so, in the Hebrew, his name is Yahweh Shah, right? But for the lesson, I'm going to uh, just say uh, verbatim. Uh, Luke 4 and 1, and Jesus, be, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Being 40 days tempted of the devil, and in those days he did eat nothing, and when they were ended, he, he afterward hungered. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone that it be made of that he be made bread and Yahweh Shah or Jesus said, answered him saying it is written that man shall not live by bread alone but by every word of uh, of God Yahweh the most high okay Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah okay and this is one clue that um, if you are um, go consider yourself a man of the Lord Okay, the scripture says that, you know, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Okay, and if you live by every word of God, okay, you should be able to break down who the wicked are. Okay, according to the word. Okay, it says, and the devil taking him up into a high mountain sold unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give you in the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will I give it. Okay, so once again, the lesson says, How do you know that the Lord, the Most High, and His Son is dealing with you 
or Satan. Because clearly this scripture just said that whoever Satan wants to give, okay, power and glory to, because Satan Satan blesses people, he will give it he will give it to him. Okay? And this also ties into who the wicked are. Okay? So if you know or or feel as though that the Lord is dealing with you. You're supposed to be able to break down these scriptures and, and apply them onto your life. Okay, it says, if thou, if thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be yours. And Yahweh answered, or Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Okay, now if you consider yourself a man of the Lord, you have to wonder or, or ask yourself, are you only serving the Lord? Or are you, you know, are you one of the people who believe that, hey, you have to follow the law of the land over the, the, the law of what the scriptures say, okay? You have to ask yourself these questions, okay? Um, I'm going to go into... Uh, Another uh, scripture, uh, Romans 10 and 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God, or Yahweh B'Shem Yahushah, for Israel is that they might be saved. Okay? Now, you have to, you have to know what, what salvation is according to the scriptures. Okay? Um, it says, for I bear them record that they have a zeal of god but not according to knowledge so you have people out here who have a zeal for the lord you know they go by this word religion you know uh they think that the bible believe that is religion but when it comes down to knowledge of what's really inside the scriptures they don't have that uh knowledge okay so once again this goes back into the title of the video how do you know that the lord is dealing with you and not satan okay you can have a zeal for the lord okay but how do you know that the lord is dealing with you it say for they being ignorant of god's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of god okay um, this is James 2 and 18. Yeah, man may say, thou hast faith and I have works. Show me thy faith without your works, right? Which you got a lot of people out here that say that they have faith. They believe in, they believe that there's a God, you know, but when it comes down to actually trusting in that God, they don't. Okay, so how do you show that you trust in the Lord? Okay, if you consider yourself to be a man of the Lord, or even a woman, how do you show that you fear or that you have faith in the Lord? And say, and I will show you my faith by my works, right? So if you um, are putting in works, what works are you doing? Okay, it says, thou believest that there is one God, Thou do as well. The devils also believe and tremble. So what separates you, okay, from the devils and from the true servants of the, the of God? Okay? What separates you? Okay? Um I'm gonna go to this last scripture. Jeremiah 12 and 1, Righteous art thou, O Lord, when I plead with you, yet let me talk with you of your judgments. Wherefore doth the wicked, I mean, doth the, does the way of the wicked prosper? Okay, and this, this, where's the way of the wicked in this society? How is the wicked prospering? Okay. Um, wherefore are all they happy that deal very treacherously thou hast planted them yeah they have taken root they grow yeah they bring forth fruit 
Thou art near in their mouth and far from their reins. So you have a lot of people out here that, as the scriptures say, you know, they have a zeal for the Lord, but not according to knowledge. Uh, people, people say that they believe in God. The devils believe in God. Okay. But what such separates you from them? Okay. What separates you from uh, the, 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 the real from the fake? Okay. Um, well, that's pretty much it, man. I'm going to just end it with that. You know, if you believe that you are a man of the Lord or whatever, hey, you can, you know, post scriptures or, you know, um, do a lesson or whatever, uh, you know, or even ask yourself this question, man, you know, what separates you from everybody else if you consider yourself a man of the Lord or a woman of the Lord, okay, but with that, I want to say, Salawam.